Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Soam Distilleries and Groovery Limited's Q1 FI24 Earnings Conference Call, hosted by Ingrid Equities. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode, and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I would now like to hand the conference over to Mr. Nitin Avasti from Incred Equities. Thank you and over to you, sir. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the earnings call of Soam Industries and Breweries Limited. From the management today, we have Mr. Nakul Sethi, Director of Finance and Strategy. Uh, without taking any more time, I would like to hand the call over to Mr. Nakul for his opening remarks. Thank you, Nitin. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of our company, I extend a warm welcome to all of you for a quarter one FI 2024 earnings call. I am extremely happy to announce that despite the challenging macroeconomic environment, we have commenced the fiscal year with a robust financial performance. During the quarter, we achieved beer volumes of 65.8 lakh cases and 2.12 lakh cases of IMFL resulting in a total volume, total income of 3,866 million, achieving a growth of 51% over quarter one FY 2023. Our flagship brand Hunter recorded a volume of 21 lakh cases, while Blackford and Powerpool recorded volumes of 14 lakh and 29 lakh cases respectively. The volume in beer recorded a growth of close to 40% over quarter one in 2023. IMFL volumes increased by over 17.4% compared to the same period last year. Our beer realization for the quarter was Rs. 559 per case as compared to Rs. 506 in the quarter one FY 2023. While your IMFL realization for the quarter stood at Rs. 760, down compared to Rs. 791 in quarter one FY 2023. Despite the prevailing inflationary conditions, we achieved an EBITDA of Rs. 501 million with a margin of close to 13% and a growth of 40% over the same period last year. A bad for the quarter was Rs. 337 million with a margin of 8.7% as compared to a bad of Rs. 256 million for the same period last year. Additionally, we have made significant improvement in our debt solution, with cost debt reducing to Rs. 1950 million and net debt improving to Rs. 1510 million as on 30th June 2023. This reduction in debt has strengthened our balance sheet and underscored our robust cash flow generation capabilities. We are pleased to share that we have achieved outstanding market share growth in various markets where we are present, establishing our position as a leader in the beer industry. In Madhya Pradesh, our market share surged to nearly 46% for the month of June 23, while in the highly competitive state of Karnataka, it reached an all time high of 20.1% in May 2023, showing remarkable progress from the 3.3% which we held in FY1920. Moreover, in Odisha, market share reached an impressive 18.4% in June 2023, making us the second largest competitor in the state. These achievements are a testament to our commitment to excellent innovation and consumer-centric strategies, which continue to drive our success expansion in the markets where we are present. Our contract manufacturing tie-up with Salzburg has commenced for the Udisa plant and is set to increase our utilization levels for the Udisa unit. Looking ahead, we are committed to sustaining the growth momentum. Our focus remains on enhancing market share in our key markets as well as increasing our presence in high growth markets like Rajasthan, UP and Delhi. Additionally, we aim to optimize asset utilization and generate strong cash flow. With that, uh, I would now like to open the floor for Q&A. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Before we take the first question, a reminder to the participants, if you have a question, please press star, then one on your touchstone telephone. First question is from the line of Bharat Mani from Mani B Investment. Please go ahead. Uh, hello, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah, uh, so congratulations for the great set of numbers. My first question was on the capacity size. So post expansion, can you let me know what the beer and the IMFL capacity is now? So our Bhopal plant uh, is now at a capacity of 1 crore and 52 lakh cases. The Urisa plant uh, is at 60 lakh cases and the plant at Hassan is at uh, 90 lakh cases. Uh, so, so on the gross margin side, so you had taken a price hike on quarter, in the quarter one. Uh, so still the gross margins are in the range of 36%. So when do you see that going back to 40 plus margin? See, I mean, as long as, uh, you know, the inflationary pressures are there on uh, the packing material and the raw material, uh, the return to normalcy on the gross margin will be a challenge. But uh, we expect that... Uh, from quarter three and quarter four onwards, we'll have uh, improvement in the gross margins. As it says, you know, in quarter one, uh, you you tend to have higher percentage of new bottles going into the systems. Uh, so that's the main reason why the gross margin was subdued for this particular quarter. Okay, I'm just... Uh, tell me about the raw material in patient side on the grain and the bottle side as well. So, uh, so as you said, the, on the bottle side, you get new bottles in the first quarter. So, what about on the grain side? Uh, if you compare between June 22 and 23, there has been an increase of close to 30 to 35 percent in glass bottles. Yes. And about close to about 20 percent increase in the price of cans. So there has been a slight dip in uh, the prices of the mounted bodies of about 6 to 7 percent. So how do you see it shaping ahead, uh, like in quarter 2, quarter 3, do you see it similarly? Uh, the prices uh, should come down uh, in the short to medium term. And uh, like I mentioned earlier that uh, uh, quarter 2 and quarter 3 will have slightly lower sales. So we'll have higher percentage of glass bottles coming back to us and which will be used and thus, uh, you know, the, uh, there will be easing of the cross margin going forward. Okay. So uh, recently you entered into Rajasthan. Uh, so the ex-brewery prices in Rajasthan are not as remunerative as compared to the current states that you are in. So has that scenario changed or uh, what I, can you just shed some thoughts over here? So I think for the last two consecutive years, there has been price increases in the state of Rajasthan. So that has prompted us to enter that state. Uh, we will start the operations in the state from uh, quarter two onwards. Okay. Uh, so, so, yeah. So can you just give me like a broad figure on the brand mix that you have between Blackford, Powerful, and Hunter, and uh, and how do you see that changing in the favor of Hunter, do you see it changing in the favor of Hunter? Uh, brand mix in terms of? A brand mix, sir, in volumes or revenue, whatever you have. So and how do you see it shaping up in the future? In that figure in the investor presentation. And I also uh, mentioned in, in my opening remarks that we sold about 21 lakh cases of Hunter and uh, Blackport, we sold about 14 lakh, and Powerpool, we sold 29 lakh cases for this particular quarter. And and what about the future, sir? Do you see the mix changing? Uh, 
you know our endeavor always has been to you know uh, increase the uh, percentage of hunters going in because that's our main brand and i think uh, for the short to medium term i think we will try to increase the percentage of hunters going forward okay so uh, as far as i know june quarter is the best quarter that we have so last year march performance was cur- and corresponding june performance was similar so do you think this year's june performance will be correspondingly similar to the march 2024 performance so yeah i could not get you yeah uh, so last year if you could see march 2023 quarter's performance was similar to june 2022 so do you think june 2023 performance will reflect on the march 2023 performance as well like do you think 380 cruise of run rate will be uh, every year is a different year we cannot comment on how the quarter four was i mean quarter one also had its own challenges we have seen that uh, certain companies have uh, you know they have been a degrowth in their sales figures and volumes uh, but i think we have done much better than the industry average so and we are very positive about the future okay yeah that's it from my side thank you thank you thank you a reminder to the participants if you wish to ask a question please press star then one on your touchstone telephone the next question is from the line of nitin avasti from incred equities please go ahead thank you uh so could you elaborate on the strategy to enter rajasthan uh like what is the timeline what is the game plan if any will be that shareable uh with us as of now see i mean rajasthan is uh, one of the biggest consumption market in the country and uh, i think uh, we will start generating uh, numbers from quarter 3 onwards uh, in the state Uh, and we hope that uh, it will be a significant contributor to our overall uh, sales from the next year onwards because it, it, it takes about 6 to 9 months to you know establish a presence and seek the market so that this point understood sir. and uh, uh, up when do you we already are doing sales in up so when do you expect that to gain a significant share so uh, in terms of up uh, for this particular quarter one we have actually doubled the sales uh, as compared to uh, the quarter one of last year so we have done i think considerably well in up uh but i think the base is slightly small because we are selling more uh, in our other home state but we are doing uh, i i think considerably well in up understood sir thank you thank you before we take the next question a reminder to the participants if you wish to ask a question please press star then one on your touchstone telephone the next question is from the line of alisha mahawala from envision capital please go ahead hi sir good evening thank you for the opportunity uh, so just wanted to know why the market share gains in karnataka are very very impressive um, is the competitive intensity changing now uh, larger players are becoming aggressive again uh, how confident are you sustaining this market share is there scope to grow this market share no we are very confident of uh, maintaining our market share uh we are at about uh, 90 lakh cases capacity and our capacity utilization in karnataka uh, for this quarter was in excess of 100% and uh, we are already formulating plans of increasing the capacity in karnataka further okay uh but we don't feel that uh, with the increase in competitive intensity we will uh, in any format be at uh, losing on uh, market share or volume going forward and the uh, increasing competitive intensity is present in all the states where we are present none of the states are easy states so i mean uh, and we are uh, i think quite seasoned in taking on competition in all forms so i don't think that's a problem 
That's great. I uh, just wanted to reconfirm, what is the total bail capacity after all the expansion that we did? So it's... Uh... Three point zero two crore cases. And uh, while I understand the business is seasonal, what is the peak utilization that we can do? See, ma'am, if you look at peak utilization, I'll just give you a figure. I mean, in quarter one, we uh, for Bhopal, we have done about ninety-seven percent capacity utilization. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, Woodpecker, we have. Uh, uh, we have done in excess of 100%. And in Odisha, it was close to 50%. But I think that will increase uh, once, uh, you know, Kaltzberg starts manufacturing. And actually, he has started manufacturing. So I think we can, uh, all years around, uh, I mean, if you look at the annual capacity utilization, we can easily do about 80 85%. Eighty-eighty-five percent. Sure, got it. And uh, is it possible to quantify what is the contribution from Delhi and UP currently? Sorry. What is the contribution from the new market of Delhi and UP? Uh, we would not like to comment on that one. Okay. And just one last question. Um, we saw uh, the growth in uh, Hunter was relatively lower compared to uh, Power Cool and Blackford. Mm -hmm. uh, because the growth in Hunter Y was only in single digit. And is this one of the key reasons why the gross margins are um, significantly lower and will this mix improve as the year goes by? No, I think uh, if you look at the realization in prices, it has gone up from, I think, 506 to 569. So it's not a question of the price increase, it's a question of uh, you know, the cost of raw materials and packing materials, which has impacted the gross margin. Okay. What is uh, the price hike that we have taken? How much is price hike? How much is mix? Will it be possible to understand that? So the price hikes uh, have been in the region of 6 to 8 percent across all our three key markets. And... Uh, this year, we have sold more of cans also as compared to bottles. But still, uh, you know, because of the inflationary trends in both cans and bottles, uh, the gross margin has been subdued. Okay. And last quarter, we had highlighted that we targeted over 1,000 or close of revenue this year. Um, would we like to revise that guidance? I think uh, we'll have a better idea about where we end uh, after we end Q2. So I think uh, for the, for all practical purposes, let's stick to about 1,000 crores. Okay. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Reminder to the participants, if you wish to ask a question, please press star then one on your touchstone telephone. The next question is from the line of Sanjaya Zadpati from Amberson Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Thanks a lot for the opportunity and congratulations on a good set of number. Uh, you talked about your cost price. Uh, can you give some uh, color about exactly what, uh, which all things went up and uh, what the outlook? So, I mean, uh, I like I mentioned earlier, uh, we have seen uh, uh, escalation in glass bottles and cans, which uh, has impacted the margins. Uh, the cost of barley, in fact, has come down, but the other things are manageable. And uh, is, is there any softening there, or they are still going uh, going this going to? No, no, there is softening of prices. Yes. Okay. Okay. And sir, uh, my next question is that you mentioned that you were, you were more keen that Hunter brand should grow much faster than uh, your remaining beer, beer brand. Uh, yeah. What could be the reason why you were uh, saying this? Because you mentioned that the mix did not really affect gross margin. Then uh, what really is the reason why you want uh, Hunter to be? Because Hunter is our main brand and it has a better... Uh, 
realization per case uh, as compared to the other BO brands. And, and and what could be the reason why it did not really grow uh, that well then? Because it, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the market in Urisa uh, where Hunter sells the most and MP it has done quite well, but uh, uh, Urisa uh, has not grown as much. And uh, in Karnataka also, Hunter faces uh, stiff competition from King so Strong. So that is one of the reasons why Hunter has not grown as much as Blackfoot and Powerpool. And what initiatives have been taken to uh, take on competition and grow this, uh, this Hunter brand? So that is the reason why, uh, for example, if you look at one of the press releases, we had mentioned that Hunter has become the number one beer brand in a segment in Delhi. So that's why, I mean, uh, uh, Delhi is uh, one of the key markets where we want to concentrate, and so is UP and uh, Rajasthan. For that matter of fact, I mean, uh, I would also like to highlight that in quarter one, uh, we had 11% market share in Delhi uh, for the whole of quarter one. Understood. So my last question is that uh, the, this uh, excise duty changes that has happened in Karnataka at the same time you also have uh, permission to uh, expand in Rajasthan uh, and all these things. So, so overall, uh, will there be any meaningful effect on uh, your uh, performance going forward because of the changes? And lastly, because you are not, despite such a strong Q1, you are not really changing your guidance of 1,000 crore. So I'm just trying to understand what, what are the thought process behind it. We are not changing the guidance uh, in spite of a very strong uh, quarter one because uh, we expect that because generally in our industry quarter two is slightly weak. So I think uh, we can you know guide the market better uh, once we end quarter two. Uh, so that was the thought process. Okay, nothing to do with the changes in exercise duty in uh, Karnataka? No, nothing to do there with that. As it is, the change in excise duty in uh, Maharashtra has only increased the MRP of the beer bottle by, I think, 4 or 5 rupees. So there is not much difference as such. Thanks a lot, sir, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Kubair Chauhan from Anandrati. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, thank you for taking my question. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, first of all, congratulations for good set of number. And there are two questions from my end. So I'm witnessing uh, a lower realization in IMFL compared to beer. So what led, uh, what all things have driven to that? And uh, my second question is on price hike. As you said that uh, you have taken a price hike of 6 to 8%. So moving forward, uh, how we are looking at it and are we, uh, and are we going to take any price hike in Q2 and Q3? So the price hikes which we get uh, are only once a year, mm -hmm. and the excise uh, duty is normalized. So we cannot get a price hike during the year. Secondly, okay. I mean, uh, first, uh, I think we sold m more and more things of IMFL. Uh, mm -hmm. That is the reason why uh, the realization of IMFL has gone down. Okay. Uh, okay. That's and uh, when you when you sell close to about sixty six lakh cases of beer and two lakh cases of wine, it doesn't okay. on your margin as such. Okay. And going forward, how we are looking at the business? As you said that we are going to clock a uh, uh, thousand crores revenue. Uh, so uh, what all things are leading to that? Uh, are we witnessing any any kind of uh, uh, falling in, uh, in upcoming quarter and uh, secondly uh, you said about the peak utilization right so what would be the peak utilization and any plan for capex yeah i uh, i could not understand your question in between but uh, i on the capex like i mentioned earlier we will be doing a capex in in uh, the plant at hasan 
that is for mm-hmm. sure uh, and uh, can you please repeat the rest of the questions i could not get oh uh, yeah and your uh, peak utilization i uh, sorry i missed that for uh, peer as well as for i must so peak utilization i like i uh, mentioned earlier can be uh, in the range of 80 to 85% mm-hmm. uh, for this quarter we for two plants we achieved nearly 100% capacity utilization and okay. for plant odisha uh, plant we we achieved about 50% capacity utilization Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, so that's it from my side and uh, all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, if you wish to ask a question, please press star then 1 on your touchtone telephone. The next question is from the line of Rahil Shah from Crown Capital. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Um, my question is on Woodpecker, which is the new entry. Uh, not so new now, but... how is how is that doing i know the base is really small for that but do you have any plans uh, an expansion in woodpecker so do you think it will be gaining momentum ahead how are you seeing the trends so i think woodpecker uh, uh, is doing uh, quite well uh, in the market where it is present we actually launched it in bangalore this summer and uh, we have already seen that uh, it has it has grown in numbers plus we have also introduced uh, woodpecker in 5 liter kegs uh, particularly for the bangalore market so i think uh, woodpecker in the times to come should do well so which are the locations as of now sorry uh, where is it present as of now only bangalore it's present in bangalore and it's present in uh, mp and in cfg what was the last one uh, canteen store canteen store okay. so are you uh, so are you seeing any other markets for it where it can be looked at and i think uh, we roll it out slowly over a period of time mm-hmm. okay and secondly just on this revenue target which you have said so uh, what 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 is the outlook on the margins then will it be maintained at such levels Yeah, yeah, I Only think we should be able to maintain the margin. So, twelve, twelve to thirteen percent can be maintained. And that's right, yes. Right, right. All right, sir. All the best. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reminder to the participants: If you wish to ask a question, please press star then one on your touchtone telephone. The next question is from the line of Alisha Mawala from Envision Capital. Please go ahead. Hi sir, thank you for the opportunity again. So just an update on the Radico uh, contract manufacturing. We find that also late last year. Right. Uh, that is uh, not picked up so much as we had expected. Um, are we expecting it to pick up uh, later during this year? Yeah, we said maybe we can uh, give you an update in the next uh, call. Okay, and uh, we mentioned that we are entering the Rajasthan market uh, from Q2 to Q3 onwards. Are there any other markets that are l- looking lucrative? Uh, there were stocks uh, one or two quarters back that we were evaluating uh, Maharashtra as an uh, geography to enter. Is there plans of entering any other geographies during the year? So I think uh, we are uh, during this quarter we have also entered uh, Jharkhand uh, and. Uh, we have i mean like i mentioned that we have uh, uh, consolidated our position in delhi uh, we have uh, also grown in gp uh, but we could not sell in kerala and pondicherry because we had run out of capacity from our uh, asan plant uh post the hasan expansion do we think kerala and pondicherry will be markets which will be addressable during the year so kerala and pondicherry can only be serviced currently uh if we put up additional capacity in karnataka because right now uh, i think uh, this plant is uh, only capable of uh, uh, you know servicing the demands which are coming from karnataka 
ओके एंड प्लान टू एंट्रिंग महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्र एनी इज अ वेरी स्मॉल पीस फॉर अस करंटली मे बी वी कैन डेवलप दैट मार्केट रेडी लेटर आई गेस because our hands are full right now i mean there are a lot of markets to consolidate and take market share in okay and you said that peak utilization for the solar can be about 80% for the expanded capacity can we hit that kind of utilization this year only i mean uh, let's see how things turn out uh, then we can maybe discuss maybe after this quarter um, then when we have a call we do you have better guidance so just looking at the current demand and like you said the market share gains uh, what is the internal outlook or aspiration looking at sorry i'm saying considering the current demand uh, and the market share gains in most of the geographies that we operate in uh, is it looking achievable during the year it can be it can be yes so sure. and this one last the keeping question our tax rate for the last full year was relatively low so what is our effective tax rate so i mean last year uh, because there was some uh, because of covid we had losses and due to which our effective tax rate was lower for last year but uh, this year i think that's why we have provision for about close to 21% tax rate uh, we have some credit or mat also available so i think uh, our tax rate should be in the range of about 24 25% so this year okay great thank you thank you reminded to the participants if you wish to ask a question please press star then one on your touch tone telephone the next question is from the line of kartikeyan from suyash advisors please go ahead Uh, sir good afternoon uh, can you talk a bit about the market development initiatives that you undertake uh, when you get into a new market talk about some of the unique things you are doing here right i was asking you can you talk a bit about the market de- development initiatives that you undertake when you foray into a new market what specifically are you able to do to attract uh, customers to your products i understand uh, the brand standing of course but uh, could you highlight some of the initiatives we are undertaking we i can't answer that question at this forum please sure 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 uh, sir sir thank you so much sir thank you reminder to the participants if you wish to ask a question please press star then one on your touch tone telephone The next question is from the line of Dwani from Iwell. Please go ahead. Hello, Nakul ji, and uh, congrats for a great set of numbers. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, so, a couple of questions. Uh, so, first was on the Carlsberg, sir. Uh, the the deal which we have done with them, right? So, so when I see annually, sir, how much of our capacity will be placed there? How much of how, how much of our total capacity will be given to them? Uh, on, yeah, the, so on, on the on the on the onsite Carlsberg is confidential so we okay. cannot discuss the capacity which will be given you or the margins which uh, we will get so top line or something uh, can you I share that i can't give you a guidance on that okay okay uh, got it and uh, and sir second thing just wanted to understand more on the on the market share which you been gaining like right? mm-hmm. so as you been saying that the hunter uh, hunter had a uh, lower growth rate versus the black fold and power cool right mm-hmm. so 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 what when tried for the black fold and power cool sir is there a category which is not there currently in the market and hence this two were very well placed and and got accepted by the customers more no so power cool and blackboard uh, have been doing well for the last now i think about uh, maybe 4 uh, to 6 quarters so this category is very much there and each competitor is there in that particular category so there is nothing that you know Mm-hmm. we can market and nobody is uh, wanting to enter that market uh, it 
just that uh, we are offering a superior product with a good taste, which is being liked with the consumers. Okay. And, and sir, these two are also in the, in the strong beer category, right? Sorry? The, the black food and power cool are also in the strong beer category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all correct. Strong beer category. Strong beer category, okay. And, and, and these are market share data which you've been giving, right? So, in certain states, do you reach more than 50 or percent, right? So, how much of the more headroom do you think we can do now? So I think uh, there is a lot of headroom for us to grow. Mm -hmm. Each of the states where we are present, but still, uh, in order to mitigate the risk, we are, like I mentioned, that entering into new states and uh, trying to gain market share there also. Got it. Got it. And so just last one question was on, on the overall capacities and in new capex. So, so if I take the ballpark 80 percent of utilization on our, uh, on three three crore cases, so we could do roughly the 13, 50 to 1400 crores of sales at current utilization, 80 percent of run rate, right? So, so now you've been so you've done certain preferential allotment also where you, you guys are raising more money. Uh, that the promoters are putting in, right? So, so what are the future plans around the CAPEX side once we uh, utilize this? So one, uh, like I mentioned earlier also in the call, that we are uh, very actively uh, discussing and trying to implement a expansion of mm -hmm. the facility in, uh, in uh, Woodpecker. Karnataka. Karnataka, because uh, like I mentioned earlier, it has run out of capacity and we were unable to service the market of Kerala and Pondicherry in the quarter one. So, I mean, we will have to do a capacity expansion there. The exact capacity, what we are going to put is still being worked out, but uh, mm -hmm. the work is on the, I mean, we are working on it that how much is to be put and, and we expect by... Uh, whatever capacity we put in, that by the end of this financial year, we'll have it up and running so that we can take advantage of the quarter one of next year. Got it. So, so from Karnataka, sir, we, we only sell woodpecker, right? We don't sell the other three brands which you... No, no, no. Yeah. We sell we all sell. three brands. Okay. Four brands we sell. We sell. We sell. We sell Blackboard, we sell power cool, we sell woodpecker. Got it, got it. And sir, for the rest of the year, uh, similar kind of volume growth numbers are, are fair enough to assume, sir? 35, 40 percent on the back of increase in capacity? Uh, tracking a company for the last maybe one year. More than that, yeah. In, you are well aware of the I know. Uh, which can be done. And, uh, but we are very hopeful of, uh, you know, showing good numbers in the remaining nine months or Great, sir. Thank you so much, Nakunji. All the best. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Harsh from Chris PMS. Please go ahead. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, what do you understand a couple of things? One, do we have possibility of getting more brands like Carlsberg in future, like similar deals? Is there a scope or that you know, this was one-off to get Carlsberg on board? Yeah, I think uh, the main agenda or main uh, point was to have uh, better capacity utilization of the plant. Now, if, if I am running at maybe 100% capacity utilization at my other plant, there is actually no sense of getting an external guy to use this facility. So I think it was a kind of a strategic decision which was to have Carlsberg in. Or uh, depending upon the situation going forward uh, or the opportunities, uh, we could enter into a similar kind of agreement uh, going forward also. But I can't comment on that right now. Got it. Perfect. Makes sense. So basis away, spare capacity is what we could explore. Makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. 
when would this uh, you know we just discuss that we are adding capacity so when would that capacity go live um, in uh, karnataka so i think uh, like i answered in the previous question also that i think by march or april of next year okay okay bye thank you thank you a final reminder to the participants if you wish to ask a question please press star then one on your touchstone telephone the next question is from the line of aditya sen from robo capital please go ahead hi sorry to come back on this question again i missed the capacity expansion number can you please uh, answer that sorry I uh, missed the capacity expansion number. Uh, the volume that we are expanding in Karnataka. So we haven't decided on the exact. Uh, okay. 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 Okay.